from my yearbook, circa 2001-2002. This is my D.A.R.E. essay. And D.A.R.E. stands for Drug and Alcohol Resistance for Everyone. <laughs> You're right. What does D.A.R.E. stand for? Ooh, drugs and... This is not a good... <laughs> it's not a good start. Let, we'll loop back. It's, we'll loop no, back. it's resistance education, but I forget. Drug and alcohol resistance education. I don't know if that's drug abuse a. resistance education. Drug addiction resistance education. Okay. I can't. I okay. Hush. We'll, we'll get back to it. Drug abuse resistance education. Drug abuse resistance education by oh, yeah. Kyle Cookta. Last name spelled right. <clears throat> True fact. Every day, a hundred thousand people die from cancer. Using tobacco causes cancer. False fact. Drugs are good if you abuse them. Drugs. The false fact. That's a false fact. That's a false fact. <laughs> the false fact. Drugs are good if you abuse them. <clears throat> People abuse drugs out of curiosity, pressure, which includes peer, media, relatives, and friendly pressure, or maybe they never learned about drugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, commas. <laughs> there is a way to learn about drugs, comma, with the D.A.R.E. Drug and Alcohol Resistance Education Program. That's not what it said online. What are we going to believe? Me or Wikipedia? Huh? No, it was on Google. <clears throat> it's a great way to learn about drugs. It's important to be drug free. In my outlook, the D.A.R.E. program is the best way to learn about the effects drugs have on people. It all started in 1998. Was it really that soon? Like that recent? That, yeah, 2001. Jeez. It all started in 1998 when a group of police officers found out many kids were dying from drug use. Thank God for the police officers. <laughs> also, kids got killed because of violence caused by cliques, comma, drug dealers. The officers wanted to start the program in classrooms, yet they wanted to have a name and a talisman. Homeboy, did I just, I thought I just learned what a talisman was. A, a, a base, I guess I knew at, in 2002. Did it? I, yeah, but I wrote it. Um, then they came up with an idea. Ding! Drug and alcohol resistance education, also known as D.A.R.E. That's the second time I hope... You said it wrong. It's wrong. Kyle, Their mascot... the internet over you. <laughs> Their mascot came from the program's name. The mascot was a lion named Darren. <laughs> I've learned a lot since I started D.A.R.E. There are two groups of drugs, depressants and stimulants. Stimulants expedite a person. Depressants slow a person down. I definitely use the synonyms like uh, tool in Microsoft Word. Uh, cocaine and nicotine are stimulants. Want to try some cocaine? Alcohol and marijuana are depressants. I also learned about ecstasy and PCP. Those last three sentences all had commas misplaced. Um, I don't know a whole lot about ecstasy, except your body temperature rises and you start to feel affection for everybody. Oh. <laughs> I don't know a lot. I don't know a lot, but I know a couple things. PCP gives a person unhuman strength, unhuman, unhuman strength, unhyphen human strength. PCP is also called angel dust. Officer Babcock, our D.A.R.E. teacher, taught us about the middle school and high school. He said that we would see kids dealing drugs and taking drugs. Now listen. This whole report was a bunch of junk. No kidding. I don't know anybody who does drugs. Um, do you think it is important to stay drug-free and violence-free? I think it's very important. I don't care your answer. <laughs> I think it's very important. Do you want to be in a hospital? <laughs> Do you? Plus, brutality.
reality doesn't unravel anything. <laughs> Narcotics ruin your mind. When you go to parties, you might see people using drugs and or drinking. What are you going to do? Take the drugs or not? In D.A.R.E., we had to act these kinds of situations. Did you know that cocaine could critically injure the nose? Also, heroin gets injectioned into your arm and is a really strong high? I didn't know that until I started D.A.R.E. So, so, do you see my point? It's important to be educated about drugs and violence. Also, it's important to stay away from drugs and violence. So, if you see one of your friends taking drugs, don't join them, comma, and tell him about D.A.R.E.